Yes, I absolutely do. I love it. Let me do that again. <laughs> Yeah, you at home, <laughs> I'm talking to you. <laughs> There's some stress. <laughs> I mean, I've, I've done all this before, obviously. Industries. Can I start again? Yes. Just right now. JBH for me is uh, an, an agency of high talent. And that's really the main reason why I wanted to join. They have an industry leading reputation and I wanted to be part of that organization. I wanted to be a part of the talent pool there. And so far working here, I've been blown away by how good everyone is. Before I applied, uh, JBH had a great reputation uh, and it was something that I wanted to be involved with. It also seemed like a great time to get involved in a company that was really growing and sort of coming into the industry. At first, um, there was a, uh, just an informal interview. After that, I was assigned with a task, which was to come up with my own uh, digital PR campaign, come up with a presentation, uh, presenting that to everyone. I mean, it's in a really cool setting. It's between the Northern Quarter and Ancarts in Manchester, which is a really cool, creative space. And it feels like a really sort of collective atmosphere where you feel at home really, really quickly. I'd probably say my biggest achievement is growing my confidence since joining JBH. Um, when I first started, I was a junior. So coming in now as a manager, it's I've basically grown a lot in myself, in my personal life and my working life as well. For me, it was... Um... The first time I got some really good client feedback, I'd done a reactive uh, campaign for them on uh, the budget. Later on, they said it was one of the best PR weeks they'd have ever had. So, sort of feedback like that, it's uh, yeah, it's really rewarding. I say in terms of Huckle Tree, it's like a really social work environment. Like we get like perks, like free breakfast every Tuesday, free drinks every Thursday. Uh, in terms of like our location in town, like it's really great for like after work drinks and stuff. It's really friendly and welcoming. Um, I used to live in Manchester City Centre and come into the office quite a lot and it's a really good atmosphere to work in a really creative space and then now I work from home remotely and I still get that because like through my meetings and my pod catch-ups we still have like a really good like communication. I've done training from anything from how to have difficult conversations with people through to uh, emotionally intelligent leadership and lots and lots of things in between. So the training I've done has been very kind of managerial based but at the same time it's really targeted to myself as an individual and to my goal so it's really really good. So I've been really lucky, um, there's been lots of internal training by other staff members so I've been exposed to you know, content training, data training, um, SEO training. I was also really lucky that I got to take part in a leadership and management course um, with three of my colleagues um, which has obviously helped me, my skills grow massively. Um, I'd probably say the birthday off. I think it's nice, you don't actually have to book any of your birthday off. You can just know that you've got it off anyway and you can do what you want with it. So it means you can plan for it a little bit more. The four and a half day week has a really, really immense impact on my quality of life. I have a five-year-old daughter who's at school. So Friday afternoons are amazing. I get to go and pick her up from school, plan a nice afternoon together. It means I've got flexible time to be able to get jobs admin, life admin done on a Friday afternoon before the weekend. Hybrid work has a really positive impact on my quality of life. I think the days where we can come into the office is really good because there's that kind of traditional but modern office feel, there's really good energy, there's a lot of buzz in the office, but at the same time the days where we can work from home just gives me a better work-life balance really. It's the De Niro moment. <laughs>